Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're gonna work on a truck called Pigpen. If you're not familiar with this truck, it is a 1950 GMC that they rescued on an episode of Roadkill from a junkyard. Mike Cotton and myself got a hold of it for an episode of Faster with Newburn and Cotton and put a brand new chassis under it. Well, not new. We took an S10 chassis, modified it, got a kit that bolts this body directly to that chassis. So now we have better suspension. The truck sits much lower, but we didn't stop there. We put a 630 horse LS7 under the hood. It's got a Gearstar 4L80 behind that. And out back is a quick performance nine inch Ford. This thing is pretty much bulletproof and it is a freaking rocket. We just did another episode with it that'll come out later this year. And we pretty much made it better. We changed a lot of the EFI on it, updated a lot of that. I wired the truck, which I still need to tie up a couple of loose ends there. And uh, it's got headlights and taillights now, which is weird. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. It's finishing up some loose ends, put the seat in it, put a map sensor in it and test drive it because we have no idea if this thing actually runs and drives up and down the road. We have a shoot coming up in just two weeks against Lucky and the Crown Hick. It's gonna be good. This truck should smoke that truck, but you know, anything's possible. One thing I need to do right now is swap out our manifold absolute pressure sensor, also known as a map sensor. This goes in the back of the intake. The one that's in there right now is a two and a half bar for like a boosted application. This engine being NA just requires a one bar. So I went to the Holly ECU, figured out what our options were, ordered the right part number. I'm gonna get this put in there, go back to the settings, readjust for this guy, fire it up and hopefully it runs better. It runs right now, it just runs like crap and I'm hoping this will fix that. New map sensor is installed. I'm gonna go back in our Holly Terminator X, reconfigure it for the new map sensor, fire it up, see if it's any better. All right, new settings are in. I'm gonna cycle the key. See what happens. Yes! Before it didn't run for longer than three seconds. That thing sounds good. With the Holley Terminator X, once the engine sees 160 degrees, it'll start self-tuning. So I'm gonna let it sit here, I'm gonna let it warm up, do its thing. Once it does that, we'll go drive it up and down the road, see if the transmission shifts, and see if we need to make any fine-tune adjustments, which I'm sure we will. So, but it definitely runs better, runs longer than three seconds. I figured the map sensor was the issue, the same thing happened with my Mustang. So I'm glad we got that sorted out. So let's let it do its thing. I'll check all the fluids, then we'll go drive it up the road. All right, you ready? Got the TMI seat frame bolted in. Just totally guessed where that had to go. 
about to slide this in. I've been a nervous wreck just to sitting in my shop because it is so expensive. And even during shipping, it showed up with a hole right there. <laughs> I think it's a very, very outside hole. Mine's in. Needs like a little bit more. Like needs to come in? No, like, like out. Me? Like push it. Yeah, it's like short. Oh, okay. Maybe it's filled. Yeah. Wait, is it the wood thing? What? I could go up a little bit. This but way? Dustin's a lot taller than me. So, like, the seat is literally, look, it's back of it's against the cab. So, it's good though. Let's go grab it. There's one thing left to do let's bolt the hood back on it, which is right there. And then I got to pack the bed full of all the original parts that came off this truck and all the spare parts we have laying around because it gets shipped off to California tomorrow. So it's been good having it around. It's been fun, but I'm ready to see it go. I need the space and I'm tired of working on it, but I still love it. Hopefully this isn't the end of Pigpen. The transport is here to get it. They can't speak English. And there's already a car and a chopper in the enclosed trailer with like seven foot to spare. So now they're attempting to turn the chopper sideways in this enclosed trailer and shove Pigpen in the back of it. I don't think it's gonna fit. If it does, good luck. So, if this was my truck, I wouldn't put it on there. It's ready to go. Here's all the original parts, radiator, gearbox, tail lights. Here's the fender wells, stand column, extra parts, TMI door panels, paperwork. We shall see. All right, I'm driving it in. They unloaded the chopper, stood it up against the trailer on its polished mirror. No kickstand. This should be interesting.
is the battle of the body swaps. Pigpen has made it to Formoso. Ours hasn't yet. Oh, yeah, you're right. It, the motor train truck broke down. So it's an hour and a half, two hours from here, right? Yeah. So we got a long day ahead of us, but this is going to be fun. So you I get to race lucky. Yeah, you're driving Pigpen. Yeah. You're going to autocross and, and drag strip. Yep. Quarter mile yep. against Crown Hick. This is great. Ford versus Chevy. Both bodies swapped. This is on a Crown Vic chassis with a supercharged 4.6. Ours is an NA LS7 on an right. S10 chassis. But you know, the thing is, is this is actually the battle of the old guys. Yeah. Because we're the oldest dudes ever. That's right. Finally, I get to watch you have fun. You always watch me have fun. You, you, yeah. When you, uh, want, when you want to have fun. Yeah. I do want to have fun all the time. But I'd rather watch you have fun because you love... I'd rather watch you have fun. I'd rather watch you. I'd rather watch you have fun. I'd rather watch you have fun. I'd rather watch you. <laughs> so here's Crown Hick. This truck is sweet. Have a good home, man. Okay. What do you think? Bust his ass. Dang, son. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's all good. It's all which good. one wants the 40, which one wants the Impala? I don't know how much you're opening yourself. Place in Crown Hick for beauties. Where you want it at? Um, could you flip it around so the nose is angled in? Sure. What you about to do, Cotton? We're setting up the autocross right now, and Lucky's got some pointers out there to make it fast. He's making it pat fast, so we're going to put out the cones. As soon as we set up the cones and our car ever gets here, then they'll do the beauties. Then me and Lucky are going to race. We're going to race out across. And we're going to race the drag strip. And then I think at the end of the day, you're going to do burnout for distance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make my tire. <laughs> it's time. Let's get this party started. I left it in reverse. That's great. And then it fired up in reverse, which is also great. <laughs> this thing is uh, knocking. It has a slight rod knocking. It sounds like it anyway. This is going to be good. We just finished setting up the autocross. Pig pen is still not here. They, the transport truck broke down. So we're going to go ahead and get the crown hick run out of the way, but it's going to be good. Long straight, couple of turns, couple of donuts, stop box. Let's go. Quick fix for the knock. A quart of 50 weight. All right, they want us to run the course in the rental truck, so I figured you should probably do that so you can actually get some practice in. No. They're just doing it for, for camera, but you should go drive it. That way you actually... Why are you What, duh? James, you in? Just hang tight, hang tight there, don't, don't go yet. I go hey, hey, bro, why is Cotton get to drive? 
He doesn't get to drive. Why don't I get to drive? Just hang tight until I tell you to go. Finally made it. Are you ready, Lucky? Bring it, meat. Cotton? Bring it, meat. Bring it, meat. <laughs> <laughs> Which car is this? Eric, wait, Eric. You know what we're getting ready to do to it? It's Dustin's. Right there. You apologize. You guys should apologize to him now because he's not going to want to be your friend after the Oh, I know. Cotton, you going to take it easy? I'm going to put a magnet on your front bumper so you can pick up all the parts that fall off my truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Wait, are rods magnetic? Right, let's get you guys in front of them. Tell him to hold off. We're waiting on. Uh, hold on, Lucky. <laughs> Turn off. Turn off. Uh, Adam, are you good? I like it. It's called the Hundini. Mm. First you see me, then you don't. There it is. The events are over. Can't tell you the outcome. But it did good. Now we're about to do a burnout. What a successful day! We can't we, we can't tell them how it went, but we can just say. It went well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this episode will come out later this year. So this is just some behind the scenes of the action, but dude, pig pen is a beast. Probably the best shop truck we ever had. Damn right. Dude. We just wrapped. We got to shoot beauties, take photos, head back to Georgia. We got cars to build. Hungry. I'm hungry too. We gotta eat dinner. Yeah. They get on a plane. They go back to your house and go build. A land speed car. Land speed. Yep. Oh jeez. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> so are these like uh LS's, you just go get another one from the junkyard and yeah, swap yeah, it yeah. out. This one actually is not one of the Sissy Lala versions. This is built by a company, Mod Motors or something. I don't know, but it was it was doing good. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> hey, look, I'm in front of you again. I'll give it to you. In front of your car. For you don't technically yes. have lost because you ran that, right? Well, I didn't win, but you lost. Sure. Whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call whatever it. Makes you whatever. I had fun either way. Whatever lets you sleep at night. That's a wrap. Let's go load this thing up.